Now at 11, Columbus police leaders say the city is making progress in taking on youth violence, but numbers show there is still a long way to go. Yeah, new data from the department shows that just how many young people have been impacted by violence this year in our city. TNTV's Carla Robin are breaking down those numbers tonight, talking with community leaders about some possible solutions. She's in studio with the details. Carla. Yeah, the data shows that violence is down this year in the city of Columbus compared to last year in both homicides and felonious assaults. Even so, there have been more than 100 victims of violence under 18 years old in the city this year. Police leaders tell us there are no easy answers to solving teen violence. This weekend in Columbus, family and friends of a 13 year old boy said goodbye. Kamarion Woody shot and killed last Thursday. He's one of seven people under 18 killed in the city of Columbus this year. 126 victims of felony assaults are also under 18. We talk about it a lot. Uh, very, very intentional about decreasing teen violence. Uh, and that involves everyone. That involves the community and the community is schools, faith based uh, solutions, um, the juvenile justice system, law enforcement, parents. Data shows teens are also perpetrating violence. 97 minors accused in felony assaults and 10 teens between the ages of 13 and 17 are suspects in homicides. Unfortunately, we have to uh, do more to make sure that we're pouring into our youth. We have to actually make sure that we are controlling how these guns are being, um, uh, people are getting a hold of our guns. Chief Bryan says this is why it's important to continue investing in that age group. It's a different world out there these days, you know. And our young people need a lot of help, and they need all of us help. Deacon John Ellis is doing exactly that. How do you learn how to be a man if you don't have one to model? His program, Josiah Mentorship. So by definition, I am an entrepreneur. Connects boys with positive role models. We talk about our emotions a lot. We talk about how to express our emotions healthy. You know, we talk about anger. We talk about all those type of things, you know, that give them um, some skills to be able to handle those things. The mentees learn new skills like how to DJ. They also talk about gun safety and mental health. Through that, he hopes they can find purpose to maintain a productive lifestyle. They need to be involved. They need a positive adult reinforcing the message. Hopefully they're getting at home a positive message. And Chief Bryant and Assistant Chief Bodker say overall they are seeing a decrease in juvenile crime here in the city. The chief also pointed out police have been working with the community to get more tips that are helping them solve what she said is a significant amount of crime.